Okay, guys. Just got done with supper. Busy day at work the last couple of days. So I got the bow in the truck. Truck actually broke down on me on Monday. So we had to get that fixed. And uh, I'm heading over to the archery club. Sling a few arrows on the bag target. Then we're gonna shoot some 3D. I'll see you over there. Um, just slung about six arrows over on the bag range. Just to kind of get warmed up. Two at 20, two at 30, two at 40. Not too shabby. Haven't shot in a little while, so I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna, we're gonna shoot a little 3D. We might not do the whole course, but uh, we're gonna shoot a little 3D. Let's see how we do. We got six arrows in a quiver. Hopefully we come back with six. Nice night. It's not hot. It's cool. So, good practice. It's that golden hour, just like hunting. So we'll see how we do. Got a big old moose here on the first target. My range finder is dead, so we're going to be guessing. Well, we hit, and we shouldn't have missed on a moose. So we're gonna go see how this one looks. Looks like a good shot. Looks like a kill shot. So we'll see. Not bad. I'll take it. that out that's a dead moose all right guys I'm gonna have a little fun shooting <laughs> shots out of this stand. First one we got a billy that I'm thinking it's about 50 yards. Big white billy goat. So well that looked pretty good. Definitely a double lung. A little high for heart, but that's a dead billy. Alright, so our next shot is a short one here, probably about 20 yards. I got a broadside black bear. Let's see if I can squeak this one by here. Okay. 
too bad. A little high again, but double lung. Got a little spike buck right here, about the same distance. Not too bad. Sounded like it went through and might have caught some tree in the back of it though, a little high. And looks like we got a caribou. Right about, I'm gonna say 40 yards or so. Okay, that wasn't a great shot. A little high and back, but we hit him. pretty good and I'm running out of light so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the rest of the course and I'll catch up with you at the end um, maybe on the last target or two but I don't want to lose any more light it's getting dark underneath here so um, I hit that deer had a little bit of a three clump of trees to shoot through and it was really cool so take advantage if you are out shooting 3d what kind of courses are you shooting there's so many different things out there we try to change it up here at our archery club here in Pennsylvania where we're at. It's called High Mountain Archery. Check it out on Facebook. I'm going to go shoot some more. I'll see you towards the end of the course. shooting 3d simply because it just gives you that realistic aspect of hunting a lot of guys shoot to score there's a lot of 3d leagues out there I'm not a big guy for league play or scoring for that matter um, I'm out here shooting to hone my skills on where to kill the animal and uh, make sure I'm hitting making shots that are vital shots so got a few more to go having fun it's getting dark and this is you know you hunt in these conditions so why not practice in these conditions I also like to shoot with my tacticam on my stabilizer or anything additional camera wise that I'm going to put on here um, to film my hunts so this is great practice to get used to that little bit of extra added weight. All right this target's a tough one. You got a little bit of tight area to shoot through. You got a doe and then a buck behind it. We're going to shoot the doe first because we've got a lot of stuff to shoot through to get to her. Okay. 
Okay, we hit her. Okay, hit that one too. I'm gonna go get. Got a big old mule deer down there, and he's been hit by a bear twice now on here. Let's see how we do. Mule deer back straps for tonight. Man, I love shooting 3D. I'm not the best at it, but it's just nice coming out here by yourself. But check that out. Pretty cool shot. You can see the bear kind of chewed him up here. We've had to repair him. Um, but uh, all right, we got, I think, a couple more targets. <laughs> guys well we are getting down to I think the final two targets here it's been a fun fun evening I've missed one target at a mountain lion and a raccoon in a tree and I hit the mountain lion and I missed a raccoon and lost that arrow so <clears throat> I've got uh, two more targets here and that's it for tonight we're getting and these two targets are in the woods. We've got a real tiny bobcat right here and a cinnamon bear over there. So let's see how we do. That bobcat is a small target in low light. Let's see how we do. Well, it looks like I got it in the shoulder. That'll do it. All right, last one on the cinnamon bear here. My tactic cam's running out of light. Let's try it one more time here. All right. So there's, there's that shot. All right, let's go see how we did on that bear. It looked like a pretty good shot. Sorry, it's getting dark. I don't have a light for the camera. But it looks like we finished what a great hit on this cinnamon bear. Check that out right there. Hopefully you can see it. That's a perfect heart shot right there. Let me pull that arrow. All right guys, I'm gonna take a walk back. I'll see you at the truck where it's a little bit more light. I'm back at the truck. It's a little warm, but uh, it was a fun night. Had a lot of guys out shooting tonight when I got here as well too. So that's great to see people out enjoying the 3D course, the bag range that we have here, getting ready for deer season. Um, it's just a magical time of year right now with everybody getting pumped up. And if you're, you may be hunting where you're at, I don't even know, but we're excited to be getting ready three weeks out from the early, early season here in Pennsylvania. So I shot pretty decent tonight. I missed one target and uh, you know, made, some 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 good shots on most of the targets a couple targets they were really hard shots not shots i would take in a hunting situation but fun to shoot at um out here on a 3d course so you know <clears throat> made made the shots not the best but uh, the shots that were realistic hunting situation shots that i would have taken out in the field i made really good hits on and i was pretty pleased with that uh still got some fine tuning to do and I uh, need to sling some more arrows to get the body condition. I still a little jumpy there uh, with this bow because there's not much of a back wall on this PSE that I have. So thanks for hanging out guys. As always, click that subscribe button. Give us a like on this video. Let us know if you're shooting 3D, if you're shooting target, whatever it is you're doing. Maybe you're hunting already. Let us know about that too. Keep us, make us jealous, okay? And uh, leave a comment down below, guys. We appreciate all your support. 
until next time, I'll see you.